on us. On them. And we compare the visits to the court as to why should the test be charged in this case the one of them should not be released. They say they are lying on us. Indeed, a uh, counsel is correct to say, my client is not a client. My client does not have previous convictions. My client does not have any cases about it. My client does not have any warrant of arrest issued against the issue. He's a suitable candidate uh, to be allowed to be I had a counsel requesting certain things actually. I wanted to make the submission. It's always an uh, incorrect uh, understanding or interpretation of the law. It's not automatically that the state is allowed a certain days period in order for them to accept the matter. And the council does not say why they want to say the case. The accused person before this one of the court is charged of destroying, if we are to accept what the council is saying, is charged of destroying infrastructure of a national community. Surely that one, one would assume that immediately on Sunday, because we don't know to start with who destroyed, we really do not know at this stage. And surely, if they were in possession of an accused or suspect on Sunday, from where my client resides, which is his site, is hardly 25 minutes from the time scene to his place. On the Sunday, where we do not have traffic, is during the public holidays. It could have taken even less than that, or they should have conducted, if there were any problems, conducted the nearest police station of the address where they were, and ascertain and establish the veracity of the address, whether he indeed stayed at that address. That was never done. They themselves failed, even if they were to take an hour, say, and say maybe it would have taken them an hour. But still, Sunday, nothing was done. It was never established. Yet there is someone who is incarcerated. And you, I, my submission, worship, is that incarcerating someone is prima facie unlawful. And it needed someone or the authority to establish that issue. The whole night of Sunday, yesterday it was Monday, still that has not been established. And now they come today, they say they request a remand of seven days. And they don't say, why the remand of seven days? When in fact they have onus on them to prove and lead in this particular court as to why a person charged with Schedule 1 offense should not be released with immediate effect. I would, in the light of that worship, vehemently object to any remand. And we, we, we are dealing with people, your worship, here. We have got all the resources. And before this honorable court, there is a poor person who does not have anything who tendered his address that I'm residing at this particular address, and he furnished all the required information. My submission before this honorable court would be seven days should not be allowed. State should delay today. They had plenty of opportunities to go and establish whatever they wanted so that today we run a bail application as a court decision. 
As a court please, is my apologies, Your Ship. Your Ship, indeed, this is an issue which a uh, uh, council uh, conversed with me immediately. But there were at the time 14 uh, applications uh, from members of the media to come inside court. And uh, I took that matter to my client. And uh, I further took that matter and uh, also conducted uh, the council who might be briefed to handle this matter moving forward. And uh, the instruction we have from my client is that he does not have a problem with media because he is aware already that his photos were taken uh, on Sunday and he also heard that his photos are in circulation uh, as someone who is accused of this particular offense. So he said, now to, to deny media an opportunity to come to court might be uh, unfair and, and unreasonable. So therefore he said he does not have a problem. Media can be allowed uh, to come uh, in court which uh, we can vast it further in chambers. I still maintain, Your Worship, that position because immediately from uh, chambers, uh, I went to him and he is aware that media will be allowed uh, to sit inside that as a public association. The As a court decision. <laughs> Is allowing no, that. This is an order. It's a court order. Yeah. Then what, what's the suggested date, Yoshi? 11th of uh, January 2022. Yoshi, may I request the 10th? The 10th? Yeah, the 10th. Will, 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 will it take them off the 10th? Will it take the 10th? Uh,
perfect, but that a man appearing uh, arrested in connection with a fire at the par at Parliament over the weekend, uh, appearing in the Cape Town Magistrates Court. Now, the Hawks say that he will be charged under the National Key Point Act. The suspect was caught with suspected stolen property after he gained entry to the parliamentary precinct. Let's take a break for now. We'll be back in a moment. Information, especially bail information, which includes uh, the residential address of the accused, uh, whether he's got assets, and so on and so forth. Uh, also, the other issue is that the, the investigators have not been able to go to Parliament, to go to the crime scene, to assess how much the damage is at the, at the crime scene, because the, the crime scene was still active until, I think, late yesterday. Yeah. So when, when we come back by next uh, Tuesday, I'm sure we'll have that information. And I'm sure you've heard that the defense is intending to apply for bail. The state will oppose bail. And uh, more charges are likely to be added as the investigation continues. Is there any uh, indication where he was arrested, where he was at the time of his arrest, and what he was in possession of? Uh, that, that will form part of the proceedings, member bill proceedings, and uh, part of the investigation. As the policy, the NPA does not comment on issues relating to investigations. Only the Hawks will do that. Eric, what is the nationality of what is that? No, 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 no. Uh, the accused is Zandile Christmas Mafe. He's South African. He stays in side B. Uh, I think he's Q321 side B, Kailicha. Is he a father or a kid? Is he? Is he married? Uh, that information will only be available after. It's part of the bail information that is going to be done by police from today until next Tuesday when we come back. What type of device? Schedules. How will that um, be resolved? Okay, the issue around the schedules, us as the state, we want to charge him on Schedule 5 because we feel that as part of uh, the distraction, especially that section, that deals with the distraction of essential infrastructure, which is the key point. We feel that, in fact, the policy shows us, allows us to charge him under Schedule 5. The defense wants him to be charged under Schedule 1. The, the issue with that is that it talks about the owners in terms of the bail application. Uh, the own, if you charge him with uh, Schedule 5, the owners will be on him to prove to the state or to the court that he deserves to be released on bail. If he's on Schedule 1, the owners is on us to show the court that it, this accused does not have to be released on bail. And it also talks about the seriousness of the charges that he's facing. Can you elaborate on the of device? Can you tell us a bit more about what kind of explosive device? It's part of the investigation, ma'am. I can't take, give you more information on the explosive device. What's those stuff, those informations will come out during the bail application. But is the device of propellant, like fuel? <laughs> like I said, guys, uh, I can only speak what happened in court. In terms of what, what kind of device and all that, you can get that from the police, the Hawks, which is part of the investigation. Are you confident that you've got the right person? There is a case for him to answer. He was arrested and he's charged with all those five uh, serious uh, counts he's facing. Okay. So, at the moment, it's part of that. His defense, his lawyer, you remember, said he does not have pending cases. There are no warrants against his name and all that. Uh, we can't just take his word for it. That's why we asked for the seven days, so that the police, the investigating officer, uh, which is Mr. Theron, uh, will have to go start from today to confirm all that information that there are no pending cases. We can't just take it uh, uh, his word. Can you have alluded to more charges being added to the charge sheet? Can, are we also expecting more arrests, though? At the moment, there's only one accused, which is him. The investigation is still continuing. Uh, I know. We've been told that more charges are likely to be added, but I've not been told about any other uh, accused persons being added. The accused looks, uh, he looks a bit dazed and confused inside the, inside the court there, eh? yet he's, he's managed to get a private or, or a private sort of uh, legal representation. Any idea how that is happening and who his uh, advocate uh, or his uh, senior counsel might be that was alluded to as well? Um, the accused, uh, the, his lawyer is Mr. Vuyo Kordla. 
Uh, he came on record and uh, he, he, I asked him whether he's legal, he said no, he's private. Uh, I'm not sure how he managed to um, access funds to, or maybe his family, I can't speak on that. Uh, there was a failure to report to the police station in the area where he was. There was a failure to? I reported to the police station and asked him to the police station in the area where he was. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't. Thank you, guys. Love you all. Can I see you on Tuesday? Uh, Brigadier, can we also can have you, please? Speak to, uh, Brigadier. Brigadier. Yeah. Brigadier, can you can you join us, please? Yeah. Rain. Uncle Philip was We'd like to know the explosives <laughs> and what was actually found in his possession. <laughs> Before she answers that, can you can you just tell us who you are and where you're from? Guys, can you can you look ahead, Brigadier? Can you just look ahead at look the camera? Ahead. Oh. Yeah. Can, you can you tell us more about the investigation, please? How far you are? Are you confident that you got the right person? Uh, yes, we can confirm that uh, we've got the right person. The person was found at the scene, as we earlier indicated yes, that he okay. was arrested at the premises which is a parliament, and he was found in possession of uh, certain items. Other items are believed to have been uh, stolen uh, in parliament. Other items, as he indicated, as it was also already indicated in court, there are items that were found in his possession, but we cannot explain or give details at this stage, as all those things are still subject to investigation. Are there any other arrests that are going to be made? Uh, we want to be conducting full investigation. we hoping. And we, we think that there may be other people that are involved, but at this stage, the focus is still on this one until investigation can dictate otherwise. Ma'am, who, who arrested the accused and what were the possessions that he was found with? Can you name those possessions? We cannot name those possessions at this stage, but the accused was arrested by members of the SAPS who are working in Parliament. And do those possessions link him to the arson? That will be part of investigation. We cannot divulge that at this stage. Well, that uh, uh, scenes outside of court just after the appearance of that 49 year old suspect uh, taken in uh, on suspicion of arson and uh, criminal activity in the uh, parliament this morning this weekend and uh, the case has been postponed but we will get uh, further detail from Atule Joka who is covering that story for us and we're also awaiting counting down to that presser by the democratic alliance outside of parliament let's take a break for now all right it seems Abra is ready for us Abra uh, what's the Democratic Alliance saying this morning? That we can get together to discuss the state. He must have been arrested within certain proximity of the incident, which in this case, it could even be Kailicha, where all of us will reside, because it's 20 minutes to Kailicha. So all those issues will be issues that will be ventilated. And at the time of his arrest, what that was he in possession of? No, he was not in possession of anything. He was not in possession. In fact, he denies vehemently those charges. He denies, he rejects those the, charges. So the, the picture that's, social, that's going around on social media is clearly of him outside Parliament on the steps of, you know, on the, with the white wall and, 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 and the same Well, I, I won't go to that uh, aspect. Obvious one would know if the crime scene is Parliament. It would be logically as well when someone is apprehended to be taken to the place of to the to the crime scene, and that does not necessarily mean that because his pictures or he was seen uh, in Parliament, and therefore he must have been the very same person. One will have to ask. Hence, I say these are the failures of uh, of legislature and the executive. One would ask a question: Why would now? Uh, private security and also the police not uh, be present at the place where they are supposed to be. And we don't even know after how long did they arrive 
and it can be if you come across someone uh, wandering around a certain proximity from the, the crime scene and you therefore assume that this is the person. Obviously, we are not there for now because we don't want to discuss merits of the case for now. Mr. Godza, the senior counsel you alluded to, is it perhaps Mr. Mbofu himself? Uh, I will disclose his identity when the time comes, but there won't be any harm if I don't tell you now. But surely when we come next time, I will tell you because I cannot say it's Mr. Mbofu or say it's, 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 it's Advocate Mbofu or it's Advocate Nugai Tobi or it's Advocate... I, I cannot say because it will also depend uh, on, on availability of that particular counsel. We, we will be able to search you. Mr. Can God, can Mr. Godla, just can to confirm, is your client will plead not guilty, correct? My client denies and rejects these charges. And therefore, he is pleading not guilty and he will continue pleading not guilty. Thank you. Can okay. you explain when you said that he raised his hand, how and when he raised his hand to get your attention? Seeing that no, he is pleading fact, not guilty. I, I beg your You're saying he's not pleading guilty, yeah. however he raised his hand. He's pleading not guilty. Okay, explain the yeah. hand raising. No, when I say he raised his hand, it was a, a response to a question of okay. how did uh, he secure my services and whether is he paying for my services. And my response was that, look, I am not getting money in this case. I am assisting because he raised his hand. He oh, made uh, efforts, he, he conducted me and uh, in many ways How and uh, you? this is a homeless person okay. that you're talking about no no, no it's not homeless oh, sorry, no, no 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 I'm that, sorry. that's, that's I'm a so mistake sorry. which is made by the state and we have been laboring under this very same mistake when one is residing in informal settlement or one is renting in informal settlement it has been assumed uh, that that particular person does not have a fixed address. No, he has got the address. He has got the address. He has been staying there. He stayed in Langa for a period of four years, renting at number 11, Washington Street. And uh, he is renting where he is now in 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 in, 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 in he, has he, has he has got a family. He has got a family. He has got a, a, a mother as the surviving parent. He has got siblings. But as you know, obvious that like many of us, is not original from the Western Cape. Is originally from my gang. So he is in Western Cape what? looking what? for no, my gang, looking it. for Grina Pashas. So is a person with fixed address, is a person with family, is the person just like ourselves. So he's unemployed. How long has he been in the Western Cape? He's unemployed. How long has he been in the Western Cape? He has been in Western Cape for more than six years. Yeah, for more than six years, and surely and some of us have been here less than that. <laughs> so was he anywhere so, near the parliament when the fire started? No, that will go to merits of the case, as I've already indicated that I won't uh, discuss merits of Mr. the case. Mr. Kodla, we, we understand that okay, okay, there okay, are okay, staff okay, found question, in his possession, question, explosives, think, think, okay. and also we understand that there were explosives found no, in his possession. No, no, not at all, not at all. You, you, you did not follow the council properly. No explosive were ever found in his possession or near himself or within certain proximity where one would assume that is in possession of those explosives. Nothing of that nature. If you heard properly, a uh, council said the crime scene is not accessible for now. So they wanted to investigate and establish other issues first. They only assume that there could be some explosive maybe within that area. And even if there could be explosive, we're not interested to that. The issue will be he denies those charges and those explosives would definitely belong to somebody else. Is he being able to tell you? No, because for purposes of appearance, for first appearance, one would be kept within uh, the, 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 the Is he living alone one, in the Western Cape? But he will be taken uh, to... Yeah, he's living alone. Mr. What has he been able to tell you about his interrogation? I beg your pardon? What has he told yes. you about his interrogation? No, still that one will, 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 will venture into merits of the case. Uh, remember that chap, there is nothing I'm trying to hide from you. 
uh, it's him as well who said you'll be allowed and I wanted as well that you'll be allowed but there will be those uh, issues which we will not be free to discuss with you for now yeah but definitely after some time we will give you information gradually, gradually. so you can't be charged with two counts of arson, arson yeah look for one more especially at uh, the state the state can charge anyone and can press against anyone any charges because it's a question that one would assume we are talking about only one set of facts here we are talking about the parliament if in parliament we are saying five books were destroyed <laughs> really it does not make sense to say one will, will be charged with five counts you understand I could not even understand we will be placed in possession of a chat sheet as well because it absolutely does not make sense. How would you say, okay, this one is accused of burning this building and you say two counts of arson? I, I really do so not know. So you think the state we, got the wrong person? We, we, we are there as well to get it. Absolutely. This is not my instruction. This is not the person who is supposed to be apprehended. This one is a scapegoat. One would even question if now I will venture out, maybe uh, just uh, I will come back to what you're asking. What interest would that poor man have in parliament, burning parliament? How would that person get access to parliament to start with? And how would he know where to go in parliament and then? It's, it's clearly a scapegoat. We have a scapegoat here in front of ourselves. This chap denies. For who? I, I said, this is the failure of executive and legislature. Not that poor person. That poor person is just like ourselves. Failure Surely you? where you are, you don't know how to enter parliament and what are the key points, where to bend, which floor, which door. A and failure all. too? Let, let let me not go there as well, my sister. I will, I will I will I will deal. We, we, we will demonstrate that as well when we run a trial. Because if now I respond, he looks bewildered when he came into the doctor's I, I, Are I there any um, issues with regard to his mental state at the no, moment? No, no, no. Absolutely nothing. No, 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 no. But has yeah. he expressed to you how he actually feels about his arrest? Like he... Yeah, as his attorney, as his attorney, the mere fact that he wanted an attorney, he wanted myself, uh, not legal aid, he wanted myself. And when I, when I arrived, name. when I arrived what? here, he knew because we met before. We, we know each where? other where before. How do you know each other? I, I am from Kailicha, Side C. That's my home. That's where I grew up. And to go to Side B, you simply cross the road. But I won't uh, divulge more. But he knows me, and anyone can know uh, an attorney, any attorney. So. How, what was he doing in the precincts of how, how Parliament on Sunday? Need, how long will you need now? Just more, the last answer. Just the last okay, one. Okay. What was he doing in the precincts of Parliament at 6 a.m. in the morning? N not to start with, uh, I, I told you if you, you, you missed it or maybe I, I, you, you overlooked this part. To have someone and you place a particular person near a crime scene, after apprehending him or her does not necessarily mean this is the person. I don't want to go to circumstances, to merits of this case, but all what I can tell you, he denies and rejects these charges. Okay. So, thank you. If now today you see him in a dock, surely it won't be a fair question to ask, how did he come to a dock if he is not the person who did uh, the offense? No, anyone can come to the dock. You can tomorrow be brought to the dock as well and answer. But you know what you will get, what is important is when you start responding to the charges placed to yourself. You heard today, the state is saying, we don't know what charges uh, to add, but we can say arson. Because parliament uh, is destroyed. So and and, 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 and uh, it's, it's common sense to say it's arson. So you can charge someone 
with us in not necessarily saying he is the one who did it. So you confirm it's pro bono or you're going to get paid later? No, I won't, I won't get paid. Good people, I can tell you it's our requirement as legal uh, professionals that at least per year you must do matters pro bono. And, and uh, this one, even though you would ordinarily get instruction from uh, our uh, society saying, can you do this matter? But you can as well pick up a matter and place it uh, under a uh, proper You don't look like well. you've given us an honest <laughs> No, 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 it's proper. No, unfortunately, I cannot now go and, and, and uh, come up with bank statement. But I can tell you it's proper, no, my dear sister. Keep this. Today is the date is the fourth. Then you ask me maybe six months later. It's proper, no? There is absolutely nothing in my pocket from that man. It's proper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, legal representative for the accused in uh, the matter uh, of the parliament burning, uh, Luvuyo Godla, saying that he's going to give his services for free for now, but also uh, saying that uh, the suspect is from Mahikeng in the northwest and uh, also saying that uh, his client is in no way guilty. Uh, 11th of January is the next date of appearance on this matter. It's all systems go for the ANC's birthday rally at Old P. Tamokaba Stadium in Purukwani in Limpopo. Party President Sir Ramaphosa is expected to deliver the party's annual January 8th statement at the stadium on Saturday. Law enforcement officers are currently at the stadium preparing for the event. Uh, journalist Urusani Lebebe and uh, reporter Pimani Baloi are at the stadium. Pimani, a very good day to you. Um, uh, just give us a sense of preparations at the Pisa Mukaba Stadium. It's a hive of activities here at the old Pitamukaba Stadium in Poloko and Limpopo, where the ANC's birthday celebrations are expected to be held on Saturday. The lawn is currently being mowed and security is being tightened, with, hun with hundreds of security officers being seen throughout the stadium. You know, to bring to speak more about this, we are joined by the party's provincial spokesperson, Mr. Donald Slamulela. Mr. Slamulela, let's speak about your programs for the weekend. I know it's not just uh, the uh, January 8th statement that will be delivered on Saturday, but there's other activities lined up. What are those? Uh, uh, indeed, uh, you are correct uh, that uh, this uh, confirms the state of uh, our state of readiness. Uh, the national leadership will be arriving here, of course, led by the president of the African National Congress, President Matamela Ramaphosa, who will be visiting the the Skukune region. He'll be visiting the Skukune region the better part of tomorrow. He'll visit the, the Skukune Royal House, uh, the, 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 the Royal House of the late Hoshi Tulare. From there, he'll also visit uh, the family of Comrade John Juan Ngadimeng, uh, uh, the Ngadimeng Royal Council, uh, because Comrade Ngadimeng was also from the Royal Council. Comrade John Ngadimeng was one of the stalwart of our revolution. Uh, from there, Comrade uh, President will also get into interface with the Kedas uh, Forum. Uh, he'll, he'll engage in a Kedas Forum in Moses Mawota Hall in the Feta Homo uh, sub-region uh, of Skukuna region. Uh, from there, other leaders, uh, Deputy President Mawuza will also be here in Polokwane. He'll start with the engagement with the Kedas for, with the with the traditional leaders in the town hall here uh, in the Polokwane town hall. Uh, from there, in the Jack Waters town hall. From there, he'll engage with the. With, he'll get into a Kedas forum. From the Kedas forum, he'll also uh, engage uh, with uh, faith-based uh, leaders. The same process will, will be happening in Vembe, where the National Chair, Comrade Simpson Gwede Mantashe, will be there. He'll also be engaging, he'll visit the, uh, the Vavenda Traditional uh, Royal Council. From there, he'll interface with the, through a KDAS forum, uh, interface with the KDAS. The same process will be happening in the, in the, in the Mopane region, where Comrade uh, TG will be there. The interface will be, the, will be the same, where he'll visit the Royal Houses, from, engage with the traditional leaders, from their faith-based leaders, from there they will engage with KDAS uh, forums. The essence of all this is for these leaders to have a national feel. First, 
to communicate our message of appreciation to these leaders, uh, traditional leaders, faith-based leaders, for having assisted us to have a peaceful election, but also to thank the cadres of the African National, the cadres and the community in general, for having assured and affirmed the African National Congress as a principal leader of the society in the previous poll. But lastly, to get a message uh, from these uh, leaders, this community, from traditional leaders, faith-based leaders, to everyone, community members, everyone, as to what then becomes, according to them, what is important as we now march towards the 200 years of the existence of the African National Congress, because we are celebrating the 110 years, and we want the ANC to live even beyond the 200 years. So it's important. The, the masses of our people, the leaders, traditional leaders, faith-based leaders, have been the fulcrum upon which the ANC has always existed in terms of getting advice, in terms of getting sourcing wisdom, and so forth and so on. But why specifically Limpopo? Take us through the reasons behind this, specifically looking at how the party performed in the previous polls in this province. We have always said and we are saying that the Limpopo is the home of the African National Congress. Limpopo is the home of the liberation struggle. Limpopo is the home. It is in Limpopo, from the horse of resistance, uh, we can speak of uh, Hoshima, Kif, Kif Makado, you can speak of Hoshima Lwogo, you can speak of Hoshima Hoba, you can speak of Hoshim Klava, who was actually part of the formation of the African National Congress in, in 1912 in Bloemfontein. You can speak of Hoshis Kukune and many other traditional leaders who contributed immensely in the, in the horse of resistance. This is the home of the stalwart of the liberation struggle. This is the home of Pitan Chavele. This is the home of John Juan Angadime. This is the home of Chifua Moafe. This is the home of Alfios Maleva. This is the home of Pita Mukaba. This is the home of Fistas Mutudi. But over and above all these struggle heroes and heroines, uh, Bumme Matrege and many others, this is equally where the African National Congress continue to get a massive support in the country. Precisely because the people of this province knows themselves as the African National Congress, that the African National Congress is them, and they are the African National Congress. It is based on that particular understanding and the reason that we continue to affirm that the AN, this is the home of the African National Congress. And Mrs. Slamlela, as we wrap, I understand COVID-19 regulations have been you know, lessened and the number of people allowed at indoor events like outdoor events like this one has been increased. But, uh, you know, social distancing is still required. The wearing of masks and all of that is still required. What are some of the measures that the party will put in place to ensure that there's adherence to, to, to COVID-19 regulations? As you arrive in this stadium, you would have seen that there the are health teams outside who are preparing their stalls. You would have seen the security detail. Uh, we have assured the people that we are only going to have in this massive grandstand only 2,000 people. Uh, will be allowed in this particular stadium in line with adhering to the call by our national uh, executive uh, to ensure that uh, in venues like this you only have limited to 2,000. So we are doing that, we'll be observing that. There will be no one will be allowed in this stadium who's not adhering to COVID protocols. Uh, any other thing that we do here will be subject to COVID protocols. And, you know, just to put in logistically the busing of... Uh, people to the stadium, how is that going? We have distributed the, 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 the numbers to regions and we have also ensured that in these buses uh, we, we, have, we use half capacity of the buses so that there is also social distance. We are maintaining social distance from home to the bus, to the stadium and everywhere else. We are going to ensure that we stick to COVID protocols in all these buses COVID protocols will be adhered to as they arrive in the stadium. COVID protocols will be adhered to. So we know exactly who, how many people will be in the stadium. 2,000. We actually will be knowing by tomorrow who, by names, who are these people will be in the stadium. And we'll also be knowing what type of mask will they be wearing. Thank you so much, Mr.